As indicated below, this is the 17th vlog. So today I've got to try and cram in as much information from this week as I can and trust me there is quite a lot. So um, stay tuned. You'll notice that this part of my lip doesn't move very much because I've just come back from the dentist after a very long journey and it's still a little bit numb. Yeah, despite my stroke face, I am a very happy boy indeed. Did I just say boy? That's not good. <laughs> man, a man. I'm a man. Okay, so for those people that follow me, or subscribe to me rather, you'll know that I started university on Monday and it was a good day. It was just an induction because it's fresh as week. And on Monday we went in and we queued for quite a while. It took us a while to find where we were going. I met up with someone called Jack, which is on my course, so I've got a nice little new friend there. So me, James and Jack were waiting in this queue, so we walk down the corridor and then we see the queue. So this woman goes go this direction, so we walk that way. There's like loads of people on the one side, we walk in along. Do -do -do -do. Turn a corner. Another corridor. Another queue. Do -do 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 -do. Walk all the way down. Think, okay, next corner is the end. Turn the corner. Full length of people. Walk down. Do -do 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 -do. Another corner. Another fucking long corridor, walk all the way down there, turn the next corridor, corner, and half that corridor is full as well, so we stand at the back, and we continue to stand for about 58 minutes, and we was in the room for about 5, and we got a picture taken for our student ID card, and I'm not complaining of photography skills or anything, I'm not trying to brag, but I could have taken something better. Look at the state of that. What the hell. So that was the end of that day and afterwards I think we went up to Jack's apartment because he lives in halls and we sit in there and he's got this massive like uber huge computer and it puts mine to shame. Poor thing. And yeah it's just like crazy big. After that we go up to James's house, climb up his fucking Mount Everest of steps, get to the door, sit down, play some Halo Reach. It's good games, kinda like the old Halos. I couldn't really tell much difference to be honest, apart from the story shorter. So yeah, we play the uh have some pasta which Kirsty made, which was lovely, even though she didn't have enough sauce to go around, so we had a little doll up in the middle, but it worked well anyway. And then in the night we were going to uh, DJ Greg off Radio 1's gig at this union. So we get there and we find out that they are sold out. Not good considering it was supposed to be like fee on entry, not a ticket, but whatever. So we end up going to the bar above and that was packed. Like, we couldn't fit this. We went onto some roof terrace, had a few drinks out there, I had a double vodka. It was lovely. Afterwards, then we decided to go to some tapas bar where I ordered two cocktails and they were lush like massively lush and yeah all in all it was a very good night and me and Kirsty were walking back arm linked and James was walking ahead because he's like he walks too fast and me and Kirsty were like half bent over pissing ourselves laughing at nothing nearly got knocked over because the car just came from nowhere and he was like speeding on Tuesday I woke up in James's house of the shower and stuff, got ready to go to uni, we walked down, got there a little bit late and we was in a lecture for about a half hour and it was the, the two days were just talking about crap really. We were tasked to introduce the person next to us, but rather in my queue it was me, Jack and James, so there was three of us so we took in turns to each other and when it came to me James said three interesting facts about me and he said for number one he is an author, which people thought was quite impressive. Secondly, he said I make these YouTube videos, which was okay for impressing people. Thirdly, he forgot what to say, and he ended up saying he likes Gwen Stefani music. Now, I'm doing a computer games development course, and a few of them are quite stereotypical gamers, and I mean like long hair like metal music, play WoW, 
love first person shooters. I mean you could say Xbox or Gears of War in that room and you would just get a chorus of orgasm. I think that's going to be the title of this video. <laughs> and yeah, so he says I like Gwen Stefani music and then it's like <clears throat> laughter. Sort of laughter, it was like a subtle polite, oh my god that's quite humorous laughter. It wasn't like oh my god you're gay. And if they said that then I would probably like correct them. I digress. Gwen Stefani thing totally ruined any like respect I had in that room. But yeah, it's all good. I mean most of them like metallic music, not metallic, metal music, like Bullets of the Valentine, Slipknot, Pendulum, whatever, like all that crap. It was quite dire, I tell you. And then afterwards, we had to go over to another block. But the place kind of reminds me of the game Mirror's Edge, I don't know if any of you have ever played it, but there's a lot of white buildings. And then there's like these random red parts of the building as well and I'm expecting like some Chinese woman to just like hurdle over them to some somersaults or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's crazy. Afterwards we go home and trains are quite scary. It was the first time I've been on the train on a Monday. But going home was a lot worse. Like, there's so many different sounds and stuff and I honestly thought that the train was going to derail. Thankfully it did not. <laughs> but yeah, trains are scary. And buses are scary. Also, trying to have a piss or urinate, if you want to be more polite, is very hard to do on a train. I mean, standing up normally for a man, like they tend to piss on the seat or the floor or something. My aim is usually quite good. But on the train, you're rocking back and forth and, you know, you're holding it. And that's like, it's like a fucking hosepipe going everywhere. It's like Tom and Jerry in that place. And yeah, it, it was, it was awkward. But I did get the train free because the inspector never came by, so that was lovely. Thank you, train inspector, if you happen to be watching, which I very much doubt, but the chances are possible. I'm reviewing this, and my voice is very coarse today. <laughs> Maybe I've got a sore throat. I can't really tell, but I know that. My voice is like rumbling slightly and I've got like a husky tone today, but whatever. After the train, what day are we on? Today! 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 So today, I had the dentist. The evil dentist. <laughs> so I go down on the bus. I say, can I have a return to Abadea, please? Gives me the ticket. Get on lovely. Get to town. Get off the bus. Walk down the road. Go up another road. Into the dentist check in, wait, get called in, boom, needle time, she stabs me, this happens, except it's like, moving now, so that's nice, she does a few things, I finish, go home, go shopping for a few things, I bought these, being a good student, I know when that lectures are long and you need to write, I bought this, and this, and this, and if this was Sesame Street, that would be three books, and then I also bought four pens. They're really comfortable to hold, I recommend these, they're called Paper Mate. By then they're comfortable to hold. And I also bought some of these, and like, if you're quite shy then turn away now. But um, lovely. If you want to see my underwear then, that's the type I go for, send them to me. And I also bought this top. It's plain, but it's nice. And I also bought this charcoal grey like jacket. Do you love? And these are to go together with like dark jeans. So this is the t-shirt by itself, and this is with the jacket on top. Do you love? I look a bit like a lesbian at the moment. <laughs> I also bought like a new toothbrush and some floss and shower gels. Look at the colour of these. Okay we have this pretty yellow colour and we have this pretty orange colour. I bought them because of the colour but actually no that's a lie. I bought this one because it's what James had in his house and if you're a man or a woman I guess women could use her as well but if you use links get this because it is really good. It's got like exfoliation bead things in it and it 
moisturizes you at the same time so it's like lovely and shiny yeah so now we are on to going home on the bus oh, oh. so after all the day I get to the bus stop the number 9 bus to Merthyr Tidville is there and the number 9 bus passes through heroin or heroin and it goes through my scannon where I live and then it goes to Merthyr so I get on the bus we're driving back the normal route we come up to Trakanan it turns into Trakanan which is odd and I was like hmm I guess there must have been a crash so we continue going down come to the roundabout I think okay he's gonna turn left and go to the bypass he turns right goes into Shukide I'm like okay this is gonna be odd now he drives up past the nursing home past up some church thing comes to the crematorium turn I think okay he's gonna turn this way and go to the bypass and go into my scannon from there he did not and at this point I was like oh shit we go up through Hukide, drive around the bit, come up to some hill in the middle of nowhere, boom! The bus breaks down. So I'm sat there, slightly panicked that I'm not going in the right direction and I'm going to Merthyr instead of Irwin. So I sit there, I look at the boy next to me, well across the bus from me because he was at the back and I was like, he tried starting the bus back up as you do nothing happened 10 minutes later it kicks back in it's like yay we carry on driving it breaks down again 10 minutes afterwards it goes we got to Bavistock which is a hotel on the road from Merthyr to Irwin and we pull into some lay by and stop 20 minutes later some engineer comes out jumps in the bus driver's seat the bus driver gets off the bus and we drive away and I looked at the bus driver and I sort of went and we left him there we get to Merthyr I wait for the Irwin bus jump on there get home it has never taken me one and a half hours to get home from Aberdeen before so that was quite new plus I had to spend an extra £2.90 yeah. the best part is like getting on the wrong bus is my fault even though the bus said number 9 not number 6 number 6 goes through Hukoid to Merthyr number 9 goes through Herwin to Merthyr I get on and it says number 9 I pass him the ticket which I mentioned earlier, return to my scannon. He checks it, he rips it in half, gives it back to me, tells me to sit down. Now he's he knows he's going through Hukide. Why did he let me sit down? I think he was just being a bastard. So yeah, go up there, click on Drew11189, go into my channel, scroll down, get to the moderator module, type out the little question for me to answer in my Q&A 3. I need a few more, so get cracking with that, please. I'll answer anything, it doesn't matter what it is, it can be about me, it cannot be about me, just something you want to hear me answer, or something you want my, to hear my opinion, or something you want to hear my opinion of. Do that. And also check out these two links, which are two new rant videos. I shall see you sometime soon. Bye.